the vision that our, our leader had. When we talk about the need to protect multi-party democracy, to ensure that parties within Azimio are not swallowed or collapsed, is because if they are collapsed, then there will not be this voice on behalf of Kenyans. The voice of the voiceless will have been taken away, and they are still at it. And I think it is important that they are told they will not succeed, because in succeeding, they will have killed the voice that uh, speaks on behalf of Kenyans. You now can see them clearly trying to legalize corruption. When you say that you'll be taken to parliament, the minister to go and justify why he breached the law and you provide that in an act of parliament, it's a, it's a regime that is not keen on fighting corruption at all, at all, at all. In the whole of the presentation that we have had, I didn't hear any attempt to seal the loopholes. And if we seal the loopholes, I'm sure there will be a lot of money that can come back and be available uh, to Kenyans uh, for the things that they have been complaining about. Our party leader, uh, Zimio party leader, has again uh, read us in talking about the need to look at the IBC. The whole process of arriving at leaders, the leaders we have in parliament and those who went through the window into state house and other places are now producing this. So if our process of electing people is, is not checked, it will continue producing people who do not care about the welfare of Kenyans. And that is clear uh, from the kind of um, deal that has been uh, led to us and the one we have been going through. Uh, we've been talked about Vision 2030. No, and let me also say, when you have in Parliament, uh, unfortunately, when you have in Parliament 90% or 80% of fellows there, and especially from some legions, were all leaked in, they have no business uh, reading these bills. They just continue reading uh, your lives out of uh, um, any, anything useful. And that's what they are doing. Vision 2030, a country, a people without vision. That's what the Bible says. People perish. If you move away from this vision, and they have not mentioned the issue of Vision 2030 or even 2063 anywhere. So we are just people galloping in the dark. Akiamungu, tuko kwa up. And again, uh, as uh, His Excellency has said, the universal health care, through the widow, it just evaporated. A short while ago, you would use your people back in the countryside who are happy with NHIF cards. Today, you produce it and you are chased out of the hospital. My brother is a doctor and he was told, don't retain anybody in hospital, even under, after any, whatever kind of operation, beyond four days. If you retain them beyond four days, where will you tell so it is a question of whether you want to undertake these operations and or I mean it's uh, crazy. But there is one more thing that I think we need to uh, focus on. And this is uh, what I would help us understand it. Our Kinara has said it many times, but maybe it has not been, you have, the media has not uh, picked it. The amount of money that is spent by parliament moving from one country to the other it's a lot of money. The speakers, for example, uh, and especially in the Senate, they actually exchange suitcases at the airport. They, he has so many places to go, he has no time, you know, to cover all the, the trips that have been earmarked for him in a year. If we cannot focus on this also, I think it's something, for 1 billion shillings to Parliament, compared to the judiciary at 20-something, 20 22, or something like that, and the housing at 29, there are areas where these characters can focus on and still achieve some of the things they think uh, need to be achieved. Of course, not housing without taxing the Kenyans. Taxing the merry-go-round, Mama Boga Nawale Mem, I don't know whether you understand. Mount Kenya is full of those merry-go-rounds. And uh, merry-go-round, chamas, all those, table banking. So you introduce table banking so that you can get a amulija, kukunwa, mazua, kinamama, jikoni. So this is really taxing people while they are sitting at the fireplace. It's really uh, not something that we need to sit loud and uh, wait. But uh, Baba, as I was coming uh, from Yandaro the other day, I bought some fruits. And a lady who was selling fruits to me said, When you make one of this pineapple, I am buying it for you, 
for Baba. Take it to Baba and tell Baba. You are our only hope. 